Easy little buddy. Easy. I just want to be friends. I just want to be friends. Never mind that noise. Hey! Hello everyone, my name is Suckit and this is my new friend Tigasus. We're going to see if uh, we're playing Monumental Experience. We're going to see if I can teleport back to my base while holding a pig. The answer is yes. Our, uh, our livestock problem is solved. Yeah, so, uh, this stuff really does spawn ghosts, and they'll, uh, they'll walk right through your wall. So, <laughs> we're gonna pick this stuff up here. Make a ghost farm later. We got, uh, some kind of drop from, the um, ectoplasm something? It's from the ice and fire mod, which makes that seem to have been an ice and fire structure. I don't know what you do with it. Okay, you can make a cursed chest. You can make more graveyard soil. So you can farm ghosts. So you can get more ectoplasm. So you can make more ghosts. So you can get more ectoplasm. Meanwhile, I think we have a source to our, uh, our ranged weapon problem. Um, okay. So four cotton will get you one wool, right? One wool, apparently, will get you four strings. <laughs> so... That's a pretty good deal. Can I switch from a trackball to a mouse out of necessity? The middle wheel is nice, but I'm not very good at using a mouse. Oh, I didn't even put my helmet on. Get rid of this stuff. Now, I want to say we found some feathers. We did. And we have a little bit of flint. And I am assuming we can make arrows like this. <laughs> As we have seen so far. Okay, yeah. So the arrow recipe is just normal. That's good. Okay, so we just missed it. But, uh... <clears throat> remember that, uh... That item from Trinkets, Lost Trinkets, whatever it was, that we got as a quest reward, an actual item? Well, we just unlocked one, um, the regular way. And what you do is it's it defaulted to 7 on the keypad. It'll show your available trinkets. There are a lot of them. Um, miner's pick, 8. I'll take it. You can spend levels to unlock uh, more slots so that you can have... Yeah, that's significant. Um, I like that. Cool. We're completing quests, too, so have some more toys when we get back. See if we got anything immediately useful here. Um, we got the aluminum. Zinc. Silver and uranium. We're going to silk touch for some of these. We'll have to make them somehow. I haven't seen osmium that mine there. I haven't seen platinum yet. We'll need silk touch for the coal too, unless we can make it. But uh, we got anything fancy here? Got another bed. Fluid storage part. Okay, tea leaf. Uh, small Zerosian tiles. Okay, dirty copper dust from Mechanism. Premium... No idea. <laughs> some item filters. Free runners. I see they uh, take energy to use. I don't know what they are. Gold sickle. Ooh, lock box. More loot. Mine card and another bench. Alright. Throw most of this in here. Uh, we have tools. You can't really do anything with this uh, dirty copper dust. So we have some machines. And uh, we got a piece of paper. 
from the aquifer. Alright. Now we know how we're gonna move animals over here. Um, let's start thinking about a farm. Uh, it looks like in this, these are not harvestable. You have to you have to break them and then you lose them. Um, so we'll have, yeah, we got just enough to make sapling there. Um, so we'll have to be mindful of that. Um, or at least I think that's just enough to make a sapling. It might be less. Now we'll find ways to uh, auto-grow it. Whoops. Auto grow an arbo called auto harvest sapling. But let's see. Um, for cinnamon. Yeah, okay, it takes eight. So as we cut these down, we're gonna be making saplings out of the fruit to uh, to preserve this because eventually we will be able to uh, cut something up that'll harvest that fruit. We got uh, another loot bag for killing that, uh, that, that, that ghost. And we got this thing. Detective Platypus Statue. Alrighty then. That trinket we found, the, uh, the miner's pick? This thing is no joke. Like, check this out. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Trinkets are really powerful. You don't have a lot of control over what you get and the uh, drops in the world. They, I mean, we can probably put them in item frames or something, do something aesthetic with them. It's cool to have them because they're not normally something you would have. But I don't know if it really serves the purpose of having fun. Yeah. You know, it's I'm not complaining necessarily. It's just just a thing I know. But the trinkets themselves, yeah. Don't let the uh the inability your inability to equip them lead you to ignore them when you unlock them. Because as you saw, they are extremely powerful. Our first major order of business is going to be, uh, getting ourselves ready for winter. There are seasons in this pack, and, uh, winter is something that is on its way. So, we're going to want to build ourselves a greenhouse. To that end, I've been, uh, flattening out an area and they've accumulated quite a bit. Uh-oh. We don't have storage for us. Well, we have it. But we need a storage crate for... Oh, this is so harsh. Okay. So we're going to need to make a Coke oven as soon as possible, huh? Um, how rough is it? Okay, it's just sandstone, bricks, and clay. So I've been out gathering resources to build the coke oven, and uh, I wish I had caught this on camera. I'm telling you, like, if you get this, uh, where is it? What did I code it? Seven? If you get this thing, use this. Um, I just used my hand or excavate some clay. I got all of this for the price of, like, a haunch, of a haunch worth of hunger. And <laughs> that's the way to go. Anyway, cook up some bricks. I mean, I, I can't overstate how cool that is. Like that that mod in general is really powerful. Honestly, lost trinkets. I think. Yeah, there are uh, so many of them. Um, I don't see it. I don't see him at all. Oh well. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, let's just try this. I'll put the vein miner on. Oh, 
Pro. Look at that. You get all of that for the price of no durability on your shovel. Like, this is a powerful mod. Um, help me. And you can just kind of clean it up with your tools. Great. The other thing, in addition to the uh, materials to make the coke brick, what was I thinking? Um, we've got to make this, uh, this hammer. Uh, this is just kind of how you get started in immersive engineering. I don't know if that will give us a quest or maybe the achievement hammer. That's some quest. Okay, yeah, we found platinum ore when we were mining. And some charged thirds for store. And that was probably it. Looks like that was probably it. That's cool. Let's see what we got. All kinds of randomness. Let's start putting stuff other places because they're running out of... Oh, a map? That's interesting. I wonder what that's all about. Solar panel. Monitor from computer craft. A reinforced air canister. And a neutral magazine. That's for the uh, reliquary gun. No chance he's in here. Actually... That would be a better home for all that stuff, wouldn't it? We're gonna be moving out of here very quickly. We're gonna put this out oh, here, all the food back there. <laughs> Those bricks are almost done cooking up, so we'll be able to make this thing. Um, I want to check and make sure. There's got to be a quest line for immersive, right? Here we go. So it's supposed to start, okay. So we're supposed to make the engineer's manual first. I don't know if we have any books. Let's see. I mean, the paper is easy enough to come by. I don't have much in the way of leather. I wonder if there's any alternate recipe for a book. Well, this canvas from Farmer's Delight, which is straw. And I want to say that to get straw by using the knives. Okay, so we could make a flint knife. Let's give this a try. Got one piece of flint. Let's make a knife. Right? Right? Very good. And let's... I think we just break tall grass with this. Yeah, there's a little straw. There's a little more. Or maybe not. I thought that was a little more. Um, you got any? Not yet. There's some. Alright, that'll get us canvas. Sugar cane right there, I'll go harvest it and we'll make a book. Alright. Let's make a bunch of paper. And we'll make a book. Very nice. And then okay, so that's a quest. Cool. And then you craft the book with a lever to get the engineer's manual from Immersive Engineering. And we had our hammer on us, so that got us that quest too. In the box, what's in the box? This bag. 
the bag. I know it's just more random stuff. <laughs> okay, there's the book. And there's another one for the engineer's manual. There's a little bit of that duplication. <laughs> going on here? Um, we got any more man? I don't see it. Alright. So, an antenna dish? It has to be placed on top of an antenna base and it allows very extreme wireless range. So I guess that must be some kind of wireless RF transfer from that mod. We got, uh, Rod of Elevation. I'm gonna put that someplace special. Oxidation Furnace from Electrodynamics, I don't know what it is. That's from Extreme Reactors. I should know what that is, but I don't. Something from Astral Sorcery. Oh. This is just a straight up netherite furnace from uh, from the Iron Furnaces mod. This is the top tier one. Well, well, well. Let's see. I wonder what the uh the advantage of the netherite furnace is. Let's find out. See if we can figure it out just by throwing some, uh, some of, oh. Okay, so it's extremely fast. And I guess we'll figure out what goes in here eventually. There's a config. Oh, so you can, like, hook it up, you can, like, set Auto eject, auto. Okay, this is this is cool. This is probably the best reward that we've gotten so far. I won't say no to strawberry pie though. All right, I think we have everything here. So we need twenty-seven of these blocks, right? Right. Cool. And that's the quest. But what you do with these? This is one of many multi box structures from this mod, and everything's temporary, so we'll just, we'll just throw it over here for now. You build it, uh, you place the uh, individual blocks in a 3x3x3. Three it three three. couldn't be simpler. Um, and then you take the hammer, which we made a little earlier, and you right click on the center block and what you want to be the front. Boom. You've got your coke oven. There are a couple of things that the coke oven can do. I think, uh, all of which will result in, uh, the production of some creosote oil. The creosote oil is what we need to, uh, make that treated wood we saw in the recipe for the storage drawers, which, uh, I think in this mod pack of all kinds of stuff, it will be, uh, very important for us. Uh, putting coal in here, you, you can smell wooden charcoal, so that it gives you free oil that way, too. But putting coal in here will give you half a bucket of the oil and a piece of coal coke, which we're eventually going to use to make steel in, uh, this multi-block Last furnace, which, okay, so the, the recipe isn't changed from the regular recipe. I wondered when I saw that recipe for the iron pick. This is how the quest line for immersive engineering is set up when you're all zoomed out. Um, and just make all the machines. Well, once we've unlocked it, I guess we've unlocked it. The only uh, gated thing is the second tier blast furnace. <laughs> Distilled water. Okay. And death. And something from Iron Jetpack. So. Let's 
see what we can do now that we have the TNT that we got, uh, I think, as a reward? Or from exploring, I can't remember. Anyway, we got it. Um, and some of this compressed obsidian. In fact, let's even... You make the compressed obsidian just like that. It's regular obsidian. Um, all in a crafting crib. Now, I don't know a lot about how this... Oh, we're going to need some flint. <laughs> Actually, let's make sure I can even make a flint and steel. Um, okay, it's just regular iron. I don't have staring in doing Let's see. No, it doesn't quite hit. But we can probably get a flint from all this gravel, right? Cool. And we'll make a flint and steel. And I, I don't know if the obsidian is supposed to be placed in the world, or if it's supposed to be an entity in the world. But uh, we're going to see what we can see here. A little more. Okay. And we're just going to put the TNT down. And we're going to lay it. We're going to run like the, the Willikers. Okay. I think they need to be entities in the world. So let's see if uh, the Man of Steel armor recipe is it. Okay, yeah. Very cool. So we'll be definitely switching. We're going to keep the chest plate and the helmet. <laughs> the night vision is too cool, I got to say. Um, never really use night vision. I don't get that heavy into brewing potions often when I'm playing. Um, sometimes. But uh, never got any night vision. I'll tell you, it's uh, game changing in the cave. Game changing down there. Between that and uh, the pick charm, we are, uh, we're kind of styling pretty early in the game. We just uh, need more resources, need to get established. Okay, we should have a... Yeah, we got a good amount now. So what we need to make the treated wood is just, I hope, just plank and the creosote oil. Yeah, okay. And these will actually help us out quite a bit in a number of ways. Now, what we want to do is take these, and some of these we're just going to keep, and some of them we're going to craft into storage drawers. We're going to make a whole bunch of these wooden storage crates, and these are really cool. They're, uh, they're just like shelter boxes. Maintain their inventory. Pretty cool. But uh, in this pack, instead of uh, instead of using chests for the storage drawers, we use the storage crates. And we're gonna need some more plank. That's not gonna not gonna give us what we want. <laughs> I was sure I knew what I was doing. Um, Darko friend. Maybe I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, you need true to six for this? <laughs> okay. Okay, so to make the sticks, it's just more of the treated pine. Just like you'd expect. And now I guess we'll make uh, a bunch of this trim. 
So finally, hopefully we can make two, two dark oak drawers. So just like it says, these will hold 32 stacks of a single item. And of course that recipe's changed too. So we need an upgrade matrix. And for that we'd actually need to make the thermonematic processing plan. That's to upgrade these drawers at all. So that's expensive. <laughs> But now we have some place to put all that dirt. Hmm. What do you suppose this is? It gave us gooey beef. Is it for anything? Is it food? Oh, you can make gooey beef too? <laughs> Sounds appetizing. I just wanted to show this real quick because I haven't. Um, Ultramine is, you, can't, you don't have to do it shapeless like this. If you press shift, you can, uh, okay, that's a mining tunnel. That's not what we want. There are all kinds of different, uh, settings for it. You can just use, oh, hello, creeper. <laughs> you can clear out quite a bit. Let's see if we can get ourselves some gunpowder. Oh, not like that one. Is there another one over here? Yeah. Gunpowder essence, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, very useful ultimine settings here at carving out huge areas of land. I'm not doing a little exploring and we found uh one of these big astral are hello. A little fairy? Something? Cool. A little wood for this. I hate to knock the fruit tree down. We really just need one, right? Yeah, because we want a crafting table. We're going to take advantage of this large astral sorcery structure. And hope whatever that thing over there is, is not too interested in us. Um, what we want to do is kind of the block thing. A couple bucks. <laughs> Every time I forget, it's uh, it's there for me. Let's see. All right. We should have done this part first. There's a crystal down here that. Uh, You need to definitely use at least once to advance in the mod. Um, I've never done that much with Astral Sorcery. Not for any particular reason. I've never gotten to it in the past that place. But that's going to change this time. Um, so what was going on there is that those were all waterlogged blocks. And now... Jump up here, pop a hole in the ceiling. There's our crystal. What kind of crystal is it? It's the Dissidia. That's one of the uh, constellations from the Astral Portal. Of course. Yeah, we got a chest. Very nice. A little diamond essence, okay. Now, since that has a path to the sky, it's emitting all of that, uh, I'm thinking about it, we're gonna get a waypoint. Hmm. 
wonder what that is. We may have to go look at that. Um, what should we do? You can put down a crafting table, and you can see the particle effects, and then you get your, uh, your luminous crafting table. And you can drop all your junk off. Now, well, here it is. It's another one of these things that we started to check out when the siren, um, started giving us trouble. Should sleep through the night. Oh, I'm really lagged. So, um, I'm gonna sleep through the night and maybe check it out. I heard something that scared me. Oh! <laughs> that was it. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's safe here. Now my <laughs> something was making that racket. It was scary, but I don't see anything. Here. <laughs> I sure can hear something. I don't know about this, folks. <laughs> I think we may be, uh, we better, we better run. May have been ill-advised. Hey, look, whale! Those are from, uh, Alex's mom. They look great. I love those. We found our way to, uh... Oh no. Oh, I hope that dragon didn't see me. We found our way to an enchanted forest. And, uh... Well, we're definitely not the only ones here. I don't want any part of that dragon. But I do want some of this wood. This couch here. Oh, it's probably something. So this is really cool looking wood. Um, and we want it. We'll just uh, have a little lag here for a moment. And same with the green. They're, uh, they're really pretty. Looks like that one might be pretty easy to get at. Maybe not so still that easy. Maybe that would be tempting fate with uh, the dragon around. That'd probably be tempting fate. Right, nice. Well, should we, uh, should we do this? Looks like... Kind of bottoms out into ocean. There's our... Dragon lair, almost certainly. <laughs> why oh my. I think... We may just head home. Oh, and that's so useful. Welcome home. So let's go ahead and collect a reward for this, uh, crafting table. I think that should give it to us. Luminous crafting table? Don't we have it? Do we have to pick it up? Okay, looks like that quest might be broken. Or we just haven't unlocked it yet. Um, that's actually probably a stronger possibility. I know that it isn't lit up. That's fine. Got any more here? Not really. Okay. 
He does have one loot bag. Mortem legging. Well, that's better than wooden. I'll take him. An ME energy case. Okay, that's cool. And refined storage portion upgrade. That's interesting. So we have refined storage and applied energy. Okay. Alright, naturally there's a cave right here where we're gonna put everything. I think the entrance is over here. Let's go ahead and uh, light this up. I thought I saw a little more iron down in there. Alright, now that we got that hill out of the way. We found this uh, fuel, basically, while we were uh, while we were digging. And 64,000 ticks is a very long time. Now we're going to see just how long that is. We're gonna... Is no... oh, okay. I think we might have to have. Uh... Um, bottom. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay, so that one piece of fuel did, uh, yeah, multiple stacks. I guess you just make it with the gobber and eat charcoal or eat coal. You end up with a lot of that stuff. You know, we have a... Where is it? Oh, I think it's over there. We have about 14 of them. I don't want to set them on fire yet, but, uh, it's an option. Create at a number of glass and glass pane types that you can access through the stone cutter, and this is perfect for uh, some greenhouse gas glass. Oh, and you get a lot of it too. Okay, uh, I don't think that'll probably be quite enough, but. Two stacks should certainly do it. Check this stuff out. Yeah, that's kind of looks really good. But that's going to have to about do it for today. We're about out of time. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.